Hi, I'm Dr. Craig Eskude. Welcome to Medical Monday. You may have heard the term spasticity or hypertonicity to refer to people who have uh, tightness in their arms or legs or extremities, sometimes their neck, that make it very difficult for them to move and, and limits their range of motion. You know, spasticity is when the muscles basically are tight, but you can actually stretch them out and move them, but they may be very hard to do. Contractures are when they become fixed. And usually it's because they've stayed in a position for so long that things tighten up and then they long, no longer can be moved. And these are more of a permanent type condition. So we can reduce the risk of contractures or these permanent type uh, issues if we treat the spasticity early. So there are a number of things that can be done to do this. There are some medications. For instance, uh, some neurologists will inject Botox into muscles. Uh, again, it's not just for beauty. Um, so they can inject it into a muscle which, which relaxes that muscle uh, and can help prevent contract contractures and make someone more comfortable or have a little bit more increase in their range of motion. There are medications that can be used. There are oral medications like uh, a medicine called baclofen, uh, which does have some side effects that can be very sedating, but it can reduce some of the spasticity. There are also things such as an intrathecal baclofen pump, which pumps medicine into the spine at the nerve roots, which can relax some of the muscles and improve people's ability to function. Other things that can be done include physical therapy, but we have to think about it. Physical therapy is something that, you know, if let's say we only use it or, or we go to physical therapy 30 minutes, uh, four times a week or five times a week. You know, if a person's arms are stretched for those during during that time, that's really good. Um, but if the remainder of the time, all of the other hours in, in every single day, uh, their arms aren't being used or stretched or, or you know, have different functions uh, where they're required to use their arms, then they remain constricted all the rest of that time. So we need to look for positions um, that we might call working positions that encourage the use of extremities uh, rather than just uh, letting someone sit and get tighter over time. So the main thing to know is, is that there are things that can be done to help reduce hypertonicity and spasticity and ultimately contractures in people that we support and make sure that you have um, access to neurologists and maybe consider referring people to neurologists uh, that can help uh, evaluate what might be the best option for people.